Hi guys, for Let's Do Die Cutting Monday. I really don't have a lot, um, but I'll show you what I did do. Um, I posted up an Alice in Wonderland journal and it sold not even in 24 hours. So I'm making another one. So what I did was I just used this, this window die here to make another window and I'll put Alice behind it. So, and I got that. I got this from Temu. I have, um, I have some other, I think I have window dies that, um, I have brand names for, but I'd have to look in my stash. I ended up getting this one in. If I said door, I mean window. I could have said door, but that's a window. So I made that, and then I also got this on Temu, and I made the rose. For Alice and it's all one piece so what I did was I just cut it out in the red and then I cut it out in this green and just stuck it on and I'm gonna take some vintage photo ink and just kind of go over this a little bit and age it a little bit on the petals over here and down so that it's not so star it's not so bright in your face so I'm gonna just distress this a little bit and it'll look a lot better so we have that um I made more mushrooms. I got this die on Temu. And when I put it on the paper, I'm just going to fill this in with some stickles. Um, last time I did blue, but I might do another color. I'm not sure. And then we got these little ones here. So I got a green and a pink one. And these have little... <clears throat> holes so I'm going to fill those in too with some stickles and I'll probably shade this in a little bit with vintage photos so it looks better like I'll probably make this darker throughout here so that it'll give it some depth and it won't just look boring like that so I'll I'll shade it in and I should have really done that before I glued it all together but I'll make it work so I'll put it on the journal something like this maybe or maybe one down here maybe one off to the side and one like that or something I'll figure it out and then I'll just cut the stems to make it even with this big stem right there and then um, I also cut out this which I also got from Temu and Stace if you're watching the beautiful box that you gave me that this dangle came in. Guys, look at look at the beautiful dangle she made me. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I stuck it on my pokey tool. Um, you put that in a little box, and I said I was going to take the top of the box and, and die cut something with it. It was that pretty gold. It was gold, and it was um, textured, and it was beautiful. So... It was very thick, and I had to run it through a couple times with some cardstock underneath it. I should have just did the foam underneath it because it would have did it would have came out a lot faster. Now, I kind of regret doing it with this because that paper was so pretty and it had so much detail, and you can't really see it because this is such a intricate dye that you. I really should have used wait I should have waited to use it on a solid die, something that you would really see the um the texture that it had on it. But I still have the outer part of the box that I could use for a small die. So maybe something in the future will pop up. But yeah, pay attention to your boxes that you get because you never know if there's gonna be a pretty box, pretty top of the box with nice textures and shimmers and maybe it's metallic or whatever things things you would never think to think of can be used for die cutting you, you wouldn't believe it so keep an eye out for that so that's really all I have today for let's do die cutting Monday not too much just getting stuff ready for my next Alice in Wonderland journal we'll see how I do and then also I'm really excited I found this key and I wanted to put this on my first journal, but I could not find it. And then I said, did I give that away? I was thinking I gave it away or something. But then I looked in one of my boxes, and there it was. 
so I'm really happy. I'm going to use this. It came from Michael's. I got it from a swap, and it's really thick, and it's it's nice, and obviously, let's see how it's uh, mm, almost four and a half inches, so it's a big key, and I can't wait to put it on the journal, so I just wanted to show you that. I was excited about it. So thanks for watching. Happy crafting, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.